They are indeed. By the way, Larry, that's the home behind us. Crime scene technicians have been on the scene all day long gathering evidence. We saw some of that coming out just a few minutes ago, including what appeared to be ammunition boxes and going into an evidence truck here. Now, as you mentioned, D'Angelo lived here for years, unsuspected by people who also lived around him. This, though, case has drawn a lot of attention in the past few days. Crazy that he lives so close to only three miles down the street. Madison Miller and her mom Ann travel those three miles from their home to watch police carry bags of evidence out of the suspect's house. Ann Miller Wilson has been haunted by the case since she was a little girl. When I was 11 years old, he killed two people across the street from my house. We heard the gunshots. 72-year-old Joseph James D'Angelo is accused of murdering a dozen people and raping 50 women during a 10-year crime spree that stretched from the mid-70s through the mid-80s. Dubbed the Golden State Killer and the East Area Rapist, he managed to evade capture for 40 years until DNA evidence provided the break detectives needed. It's always affected me. I'm kind of paranoid. D'Angelo is a former police officer who worked in the towns of Exeter near Visalia and in Auburn in the Sierra foothills. Nicholas Winnick was Auburn's police chief when D'Angelo worked there. This is an officer that, uh, you know, obviously has some credibility, ethics problems, and uh, we investigated and terminated him because of it. Winnick, who's now retired, says he fired D'Angelo after an investigation proved he shoplifted a hammer and dog repellent from a store. You know, I devote my whole career to law enforcement. And you hate to see, see a police officer accused of of crimes of this nature. I mean, you know, serial rapist, mass murder is terrible. He never left the area. That's so arrogant. You know, that he damaged so many people's lives and futures they were supposed to have. And he's arrogant enough to live amongst us. It's sickening. A lot of neighbors have been drawn here to the scene, as you can see. Now, we we're told that crime scene technicians have been looking for possible murder weapons inside the home as well as trinkets that the Golden State Killer might have kept from some of his victims. And Larry, you mentioned the arrest that came very early yesterday morning. We are told that when police got here, when sheriff's deputies made that arrest, D'Angelo told them that he had a roast in the oven. The deputy said, don't worry, we'll take care of that. The crime spree went across 10 counties in California. Some of the charges, uh, the early charges, have only been filed here in Sacramento County. We're waiting charges from some of those other counties. Live in Citrus Heights, Eric Thomas, ABC7 News. Eric, thank you.